Imagine you are the owner of a medical store. You will have to ensure that your customers receive products within their safe usage period. With Zoho Inventory's batch tracking feature, you can selectively pick items to give to customers from batches that fall within their recommended usage dates and ensure that products meet their quality standards. In this video, we will learn all about it. First, let's enable batch tracking. Log in to Zoho Inventory. Go to Settings and click Items. Scroll down and mark the box Enable Batch Tracking under Advanced Inventory Tracking. Check this box to duplicate batch numbers in instances where two different products are either manufactured or received simultaneously in the same batch. Click Configure and choose the transactions in which you prefer to track your inventory. If you choose invoices, bills and credit notes, you will be able to add batch details while creating an invoice, recording a bill and creating a credit note. If you choose packages, purchase receipts and return receipts, you will be able to add batch details while creating a package, recording a purchase receipt and recording a return receipt. Mark this box if you want to mandate batch tracking in transactions. Click Update. Then click Save. After enabling batch tracking, we will see how to add batches for your items. Go to the Inventory module and click the plus icon next to Items. Enter the item name, its unit, scroll down and enter the sales and purchase information. Select Track Batches under Advanced Inventory Tracking. Select an inventory account. Select the warehouse name. Enter the opening stock and its rate per unit. Click the More icon here and select Add Batches. Enter the batch reference number, manufacturer batch number, manufacturer date, expiry date and the quantity of goods that belong to this batch. You can also add batches by clicking plus add batches. Then click save. Similarly, enter the batch details for the opening stock given in each warehouse. Go ahead and click save. That's how you add batches to your item. Let's create an invoice to see how batch tracking works. Go to the Invoices module and create an invoice. Select the customer. Scroll down. Here, select the warehouse and add a line item with batch tracking enabled. Once you've added, you'll get an option to select batches from the warehouse you've selected. Enter the quantity and select batches. In the pop-up that appears, select the batch reference number and the quantity that goes out. You will also be able to select another batch by clicking plus select another batch. Then click save. Select the tax rate. Go ahead and click save and send. You will be able to view the batch details at the bottom of the invoice details page. You can also add batches for the units that are being added to your inventory. To do this, go to the purchases module and create a bill. Select the vendor, bill number and bill date. Here, select the warehouse and add a line item with batch tracking enabled. Once you've added, you'll get an option to add batches to the warehouse you've selected. Enter the quantity and click Add Batches. In the pop-up that appears, enter the batch details for the selected item. You will also be able to add another batch by clicking plus Add Batches. Then click Save and click Save as Open. After creating the bill, you will be able to view the batch details at the bottom of the bill details page. 
There are cases where you would need to transfer a portion of a batch to your other warehouse to meet increased demand in that region. To transfer the item, go to the inventory module and click the plus icon next to the transfer orders. The transfer order number is auto-generated. Click the gear icon to configure your transfer order number preferences. Select the source warehouse and the destination warehouse. Under item details, add the batch tracked item. Once you've added, you'll get an option to select batches from the warehouse you want to transfer. Click select batches. Select the batch reference number from which you want to transfer. Enter the destination batch reference number and the quantity. You'll be able to select from other batches as well. Then click Save. Go ahead and click Initiate Transfer. You will be able to view the batch tracked item details all at one place. Go to the Items module and open a batch tracked item. Go to the Batch Details tab. Click the Batch Reference number to expand its details. You will be able to view details including the batch creation date, the transaction within which the batch was created, the initial and current quantity in the batch, and the transactions with which the batch reference number is associated. To generate reports for batch tracked items, go to the Reports module and select Batch Details Report under Inventory. You can click the batch reference number to view its batch transaction summary. And that's a wrap for our video on batch tracking in Zoho Inventory. Thanks for watching.